Hey guys, welcome back to another Torrid haul. What do you know? Okay, so I only have a couple things to try on for you because I mostly got like uh, bras and lingerie. <laughs> um, I went to Torrid. Okay, well I actually had a few things to pick up last weekend at Torrid that I had ordered online like a while ago. Um, basically they had like their super cheap clearance sale and I got $150 worth of bras for 30 bucks. Um, I also purchased a sweater and some pants and I actually, um, I used the gift card I got for Christmas from my mom for all of this, um, except for the lingerie piece, which I will show you. Um, it just took me a while to go pick it up because I don't live near Torrid. It's like an hour away. So that's why um, it took me a while to go and pick it up. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, while I'm thinking of it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see what I got at Torrid this time, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to talk about bras first, just because they are on top of my bag. Um, I have never tried toward bras before. I actually never really spent a lot of money on bras. Um, it's definitely something that I needed and something that I wanted, um, because I feel like you should feel good underneath your clothes, um, like beautiful. And... I just never really <clears throat> um, feel like that because I always just wear t-shirt bras from like Lane Bryant. Um, anyway, they had clearance bras, super cheap. Um, I don't think I have my receipt, but I paid $11 and under for each one of these bras. I think one of them was 8 something, one was 10 something, and I think one was 11 something. Um, and I will tell you... Um, what they retail for and all that. So, um, I also, a lot of the reason too that I can't ever, that I never really get like sexy bras is because I am, I'm big around, but I don't have very big boobs. Um, so like I wear like a 44B. Anyway, here is the first bra and it just looks like this. It is the, what is this one, push-up plunge bra, and um, so it does have a lot of padding in there, which I need because, like I said, I just don't have very big boobs, and yeah, so it kind of helps me out, gives me a little something-something. Um, the material in this is just so, so soft. Um, I mean, it just, it feels like silk, and I love the lace detail. Um, I actually ordered this in red also, but they sold out, so they had to, like, give me my money back. But, and then here is the back, which, so it's a nice, thick band, which is cool. And the straps on this one, you can take and move, um, so that it's like a, like a cross back or whatever that is called. So, yeah, um... I'm glad that I'm filming this video because now I can take all the tags off and wear them and yada yada. So, um, I am going to try on the clothes for you. Well, a couple things. Um, however, I'm not going to try on the bras for you because I'm just not to that point of comfortability. So, if that makes sense. Uh, that one for like 8 bucks, one for 10 and one for 11 And the gray one that I just showed you retails for... $52.90 so already that's a huge deal then I got this one so um, obviously it's purple with the lace detail it has kind of a thick band as well I love the look of the purple with the lace I think it's so pretty um, this one you can also do that strappy back thing this one retails for $44.90 and it is 
Which one is this one? This one is the Sensuous, oh wait no. This one is the Smooth Push-Up Plunge Bra. So this is also a push-up bra. I used to always buy my bras at Fashion Bug um, back in the day. They, I would always buy them when they were buy two get two free. So it was like 30 bucks for like four bras. I loved their bras. Um, I was like devastated when they closed all their stores. Uh, so I've just always had trouble with finding bras ever since they closed, so. Okay, sorry guys, my husband just got home, so. Anyway, um, so, yeah, so we've done two bras. This is a navy blue bra with full lace on the cups. And it has gold hardware. And I think that that just, like, totally steps it up a notch. I think it is so pretty. Hard for you guys to see, probably, but um, there is the detail there. And this is also a 44B. This is the Push Up Plunge Bra. Retails for $52.90. So like I said, I basically got $150 worth of bras for $30. Bucks. This is a Push Up Bra as well. Like I said, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> so, alright. So a couple other things. Um, our anniversary is coming up and we um got like a hotel room for a couple nights um to be honest my husband is like kind of planning it and I just like sorry if you hear him talking I think he's like on the phone doing like a work call but anyway um I am the type of person I just kind of let him handle things and I just don't even know what's going on or anything like that so I know we got a hotel for two nights somewhere it's a Thursday and a Friday night in February and I know we have a hot tub in the room, but, you know, I have no idea where we are going because I kind of, like, forgot. I think we're staying in Fort Collins, but I'm not sure. Um, now I do have, like, sexier lingerie than this, but I thought, um, it would be comfy to wear. And also because, um, we're staying two nights, I thought, you know, one night I'd go, like, super sexy and the other night I'd go, like, cute. And this to me is cute and like I am not a big red person but I just think that this is adorable and I'm not gonna try it on for you guys but I will stand up and show you it's just like a baby doll this was 50% um, well when I went there clearance was 50% off and so I got this for like $18 and it just has lace all the way around the bottom super pretty um, and it's like a super thick really good like quality material so this will be um really nice I think to wear year round to bed it's got a little bit of lace on the top there with a little bow and then of course like I said the lace on the bottom it's so cute they actually had a navy blue one that I really really liked but it was like super short and it I don't think it would have even covered my belly and they didn't have the underwear to match so that's why I stuck with this one Okay, and then for my last tour haul, you guys might recognize, I bought the same exact pair of pants, so I'm not going to try these on for you. However, I liked them so much, but they were just like a hair too big, which I'm still going to wear them. I kept them, um, but I wanted to order them in a smaller size just so they fit a little bit more fitted. Um, but seriously, I love these pants. I think I found my new favorite type of pants. And it's definitely the Ponty pants from Torrid. These are a size 2. The other pair is a size 3. I have not tried these on yet. But I'm hoping that they fit tighter than the 3. Which I think they will because um, I have found my size in Torrid leggings. And that's a size 2. So I think these will fit well. The only thing I'm hoping is that I didn't need a size 1 because I'm pretty sure these are sold out now. Um, but yeah. Anyway, either of, either both or both of them work, so I'll wear both, but yeah. Okay, and then Oh, we did stop at Ross. Let me just mention these real quick. Um I love the Ross tank tops. They are one size fits all. And I have three of them that I kind of alternate in between. And we just like happened to run in there the other day. And I didn't really like find anything. Um, 
but they had marked these tank tops down and they had three let's see I think they had four or five and I bought three of them um they had them marked down to three dollars and 49 cents and I love these tank tops they have this um I don't know if I've talked about them before but they have this like panel on the sides here um yeah they're see-through but they kind of like hold you in and I wear a tank top every day under my clothes I have for years um I used to get my tank tops at Gordman's, but a lot of the Gordman's closed, and also I don't really live near Gordman's anymore, so I had to find a better alternative. Better is definitely the word for these. I love them. So I hope that they're not discontinuing them because they marked them down, um, but if they do, I have like six of them now, so which all of them are black except one. I have a white one um, to wear under like white clothes, but... I pray that they don't get rid of these because I love these tank tops. <clears throat> okay, and then one more thing from Torrid. This was on clearance. I read the reviews and it said that they, um, that it ran big. So I ordered a size two. Um, I think I actually could have gotten a size one, but it just says girls rule and got a hand with black fingernails holding a rose I just thought that this was like so freaking cute so like feminine and just adorable um I definitely um I have always my entire life I have always loved clothes that say stuff like I remember back in the day like way back in the day probably middle school I'm 30 okay wearing like my favorite one I had this like bright Superman blue shirt that said hottie in flames and I wore that shit all the time and then like it got to be where like the shorts with the the softy shorts with stuff on the butt like words on the butt got like super huge and like you know so like me and my friends we'd always wear like softy shorts that said like hottie or whatever it said I don't even know but I thought this was adorable and I couldn't really pass it up um I don't wear things that say things um like if we're doing something like nice you know that's definitely like my casual wear um but I like to have a good mix of both I also kind of like to mix casual with like dressy uh, okay so I have one more thing to show you guys and it is from Torrid, and it's a jacket, of course, low coats, um, but I actually purchased this used. Um, the girl I bought it from, it was online, she was selling it for $12 shipped. It was missing a button, but she had the button, and I was like, oh my gosh, like a jacket from Torrid for $12, I will take it, I will sew the button back on. So, um, she sent me this adorable jacket for 12 bucks. I sewed the button back on and let me tell you this jacket is adorable. So let's try it on. Here it is um, on the hanger. This is a size 3 and it doesn't like close all the way but I mean I don't need it to because it's not something that buttons anyway. Um, it just like kind of stays open. And it flares in the back, which I think is adorable. I love this. I think it looks so cute on me. Like, seriously, I just love jackets. Um, especially ones that, like, hug me here. Because I, re I think it really makes my body look good. Um, yeah, not trying to sound conceited. But, you know what? I'm getting to the point where I really like my body and um I am positive about it and yeah if you don't like that don't watch <laughs> but anyway yes I think it's adorable so I think if you'd look at it like this because I was taking some pictures the other day in it <laughs> I think it looks a little um chefy like I look like a chef but you know, from far away. Oh, so freaking cute. Love it. The sleeves are perfect. Um, let's see. 
this is the button that was missing so super easy quick fix um yeah I'm not a very good sewer but I sewed it good enough so yeah you just can't pass up a jacket from Tord for 12 bucks I mean you know and I actually have had this a while <laughs> Um, but I kept forgetting to put it in any videos and so I thought since this was kind of a shorter video and I wasn't trying like everything on for you that I would go ahead and throw it in this video and try it on. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Torrid haul. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that little bell to be notified every time I upload a new video and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and day, month, whatever and I will see you in my next video. Bye!